everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the thousand year door. It's a door, and it's a thousand years old. <laughs> that's crazy. And that's the plot. <laughs> well, in the last one, we finished chapter four and got an email from Princess Peach basically saying that uh, they're trying to reawaken a demon. And Professor Frankly was like, what? That's crazy, although that makes sense. <laughs> Today, we're not going to further the plot. We're going to be helping people. So we have a couple of new ones now that we can do. Holy. Wait, wait, wait. What? What's the question mark one? Elusive badge? I'm after an elusive badge. Let's explain in person. Meet me in the roof of Zesty's house in Roquart Square. This poster's anonymous. This may be dangerous. You want to take on this trouble? Yeah, sure, why not? Do it and do it right. Alright, so you gotta, uh, yeah. go up in the square. Yeah, which you had to go through the inn to get over to, if yeah. I remember correctly. Yeah, because remember, that's where the bad shop was, so I was like, oh, that's where they meant by the bad shop, and I feel like an idiot. I mean, I already do feel like that. Oh my god, Luigi! Oh, it's Luigi. Oh my god, look at this guy! Hi! You gotta go moon. You wanna voice him? Yeah, I'm Torque, and don't for a second think this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it, idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 <laughs> coin repair costs. <laughs> Jesus, Luigi, everyone's fucking pissed at you. Hold on. That's Luigi's pal Torque. I hear he's like a totally excellent mechanic. You think so? With the big fucking wrench on his shelf? <laughs> According to Mechanics Weekly, that tool on his back can basically do anything. The wrench. He seems ticked off, though. I wonder what happened. Hey, Luigi. Well, I headed to Circuit Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Fuck yeah, because I'm not reading it. <laughs> hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Uh, I guess Circuit Break Island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold kart races almost every day on the island. Yo, they have Mario Kart races daily, what the fuck? Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I, dude, I'd be king every day. I'm fucking gold at Mario Kart. Just as we got to the race, Track. They were holding the awards ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy they give to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to ever do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhausts. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. Those drivers were crazy. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I got one of the best carts, the Big Green 01. I took my position at the start line. The light went green, I stomped on the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse. The Big Green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-screen. In one fell swoop, I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. <laughs> Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off of my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me toward it in Jazzafraz town in the east. Jazzafraz! Then I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess. Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat and came back here to Rogueport, and that's what's been up with me. So damn, he took this dude's car and fucking wrecked that shit. So damn. Sounds like Luigi. Yeah, hi, hi Toadsworth. We're gonna find Princess Peach. Oh, by the way, she's being held captive. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this, guy? this one? <gasps> oh, it's I thought it was Miss Mouse. Oh, hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. 
Well, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a striving fellow like you take all my trouble. Well, let me get this- let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can find- do to find this exclusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. Oh, so I have so no good. idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Oh, I guess we're going <laughs> to Petalburg. Because we can't do another trouble until we complete this one. Yep. Alright, well, uh, we don't have a fast way of getting there. We gotta go to... We to, have to do it the old-fashioned way. We should make, like, a fast travel system in this game. I think there is. It's supposed to lead right to Petalburg once you unlock it. But I don't remember where any of that shit is because I don't remember any of this game. <laughs> Maybe because I watch LPers play it. And one of them was like, I mean, to be <laughs> fair, the two people that I watch are probably, like, not what you would want to watch if you're trying to, like, 100% a game. And you're, like, trying to figure out where all the shit is, you know? Because I watched Game Grumps and Lukajin play it. <laughs> Which Lukajin did fine, but she didn't find everything that, like, you need. Oh wait, that's to get to the thousand year door, hold on. Go in the wrong direction. It's like the opposite of one direction. Oh, 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 okay. That's big time rush. Oh, is it? <laughs> Oopsies. Is it this one? Make it count, please. Make no, because we only had the airplane when we, yeah. um... It's over by the right. Is it? Yeah. Don't you remember? Because you have to go like across. You have to fight that blue bird. Yeah, to go that's right. Why can't I do that? <laughs> I think it's over on the right. Oh, was it this one? Yeah, I think so. Nope. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me go. Wait, can you get to that desk now? No, because it has cracked. Yoshi can't reach that high. What? Okay. Dude, we're gonna find our way back to Petalburg. Uh, uh, yeah, it's right here. Whee! Oh my god, Gumbel, you did it! <laughs> no, she didn't! <laughs> she, she's fucking dead! Well, we made it! Let me save. Because <laughs> if something bad happens, I'm not doing all that shit again. What bad is gonna happen in Petalburg? I, I guess you're right. I think now, like, because we're strong enough, if we, like, hit a Goomba and whatnot, they just die instantly. Yeah. Yeah. So we won't even have to battle anymore. <laughs> Alright, so... I think we still have to go up here, because the bridge is yeah, broken. because you have to go across with the plane. Yeah. Should we talk about the FNAF movie? Um... Uh, Should we talk about what happened during the FNAF movie? Nah, let's leave, let's leave it up to the audience Well, to... I meant like, what well, we had to... Oh, yeah. Leave. <laughs> yeah. So we, we, went to, we went to the Five Nights at Friday's <laughs> movie, you know? Wait, should we... <laughs> Hold on. Alright, I feel like you should do it because you're good at telling stories. What the fuck? Alright, well, fine, was, I'll, I'll do it. It was your suggestion. Okay, well fine, I'll do it then. So we were watching- we go into the theater, it's packed, because it's, uh- OH SHIT! It's opening night, and whatnot. <laughs> and, uh, we go to the theater, and like, after sitting through so many fucking ads, most of them not even being the- the fucking, uh, the- the move- like, movie theater ads and whatnot, we- we finally watched the movie. And, um, <laughs> god. Uh, everyone was, like, super fucking excited. We got maybe, like, five minutes through. And uh, last time we saw, I believe it was the, the character Mitch. Like, in a mall. And then the lights started going off, so we- <laughs> Our dumbasses thought it was part of the fucking movie. <laughs> but it was actually a fire. <laughs> like, a legitimate fire. 
So we all had to evacuate the uh, the premises. Oh shit. <laughs> we all had to evacuate the premises, go outside, and like actual fire truck showed up having to deal with the situation and whatnot. And uh, you know what? Pretty good. <laughs> we, ha we have some footage of it, of like us sitting outside and um, wait. He has plus three defense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so like, we finally get back in, and, uh, for some reason, I guess, like, they just kept the movie going a little bit, and then turned off the movie. So when we got back in, like, after everyone was accounted for, and they came, everyone came back in and sat back down, they played the movie, and, like, it went from Mitch sitting down at the mall, to, like, him running up and beating the shit out of a guy. <laughs> everyone in the theater was like, huh? What the hell is going on? <laughs> ah, shit. Fucking sucking while I'm talking. So, but anyway, the movie was great. I highly recommend it. There was a, me and this one dude were like in sync in the front. Where like anytime we saw something on screen, we pulled it. <laughs> oh shit! So, I highly recommend the FNAF movie. It was good. I'm gonna use power bounce on this motherfucker right here. Fuck you! All right. Know what I should've done? Hmm. Multi-bounce. Fine, though. We forgive in this household. Forgive and forget. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad I'm doing this for one star point. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> yep, live, laugh, love, indeed. Oh, get the fuck away from me! I'm trying to use the wind, or whatever that means. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that's dead. <laughs> I forgot, how the fuck do we get back up the hooktails thing? It'd be laid out so nice because it would just be like, WHATEVER! Be like, wherever you unlock is where you're supposed to go, but you can't really do that here. Let me use hammer. Wait, why? These things have one health. I was gonna use the quake hammer. Why? why? why not? You could literally just jump on both of them with... Both your characters and we'll just die. Fine. Good job, good bell. You're actually getting screen time. Oh shit, what were- Oh shit! Are you kidding me? I just got through a battle! No, I'm not doing it. You don't remember the one that was right next to you? No. I thought I had a little buffer. That's stupid. Nice. Fuck your chicken strips. <laughs> oh yeah, we saw a lot of cosplayers. A lot of people uh, were the purple guy. Oh, what's this? A spite pouch. Ripley does half damage to all foes who attack directly. We can convert the fucking Mr. Softener. You need the worm. No, I don't want the worm. Wait a minute, can I break these? No, not yet. Oh shit, I actually need coops. I mean, we didn't need him throughout the entirety of this, so... <laughs> Yahoo! Wait, was there a badge up here that we can actually get now? There. Remember? That thing! I think Yoshi can get over there? I think Yoshi could do it. <laughs> oh, I'm a genius! Alright, X. Nope. Oh, how can we get over to it? Am I missing something? Wait, hold on. I mean, I don't know. How do you get this badge? Someone tell me! Wait, 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 you know, idea. Okay, no, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> this is where we saw Miss Faust, or no? I think so. I think she was here. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm so well remembering. You should jump across that with Yoshi now. Oh yeah, I guess you're, it was just force a habit. I didn't want to switch characters. Get away from me! <laughs> Oh god damn. Give me coops. I know, I took the fucking long way doing that, I'm sorry. You took the midnight train going anywhere. Is that the door I need to go to? Wait, what would have happened? Oh shit! What? If you jumped off with Yoshi midway through and gone to the left. Oh. I don't want to do with these guys anymore. You guys are dumb as you. I don't want to do it. One star point. Because there's there's like a little thing below you. Is there? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I did see it. This is where we saw Miss Mouse. Do so you think when she was here the first time, she was trying to find that badge? Well, she said she already found what she needed. Uh, what she needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, this is dumb. Oh, shit, I should have tried that, um... The thingy with the, the do damage back thing. Should've done that, and then I won't have to fucking waste time. Cause I'm a dumbass. You didn't say no. I don't know. Get away from me. Ranger Nathan. Oh, come on, man. I'm just I'm just trying to live my life out here. Get away from me. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are there so many enemies? They're doing crunches. Oh shit! <laughs> Yeah, they're doing the crunch. The munch munch. Okay. And then poops, I need you to be oh shit. Don't do that. Okay, now you can go. Which way was it? I can do this. Well, oh, I yeah. missed. That was so hard. Yeah. I don't know, anything's hard when I do it. I make things so difficult. <laughs> this entire episode's gonna be this one fucking... Yeah, because you wanted to do it! <laughs> well, it looks, it looks cool. Okay. Oh, get away from me! You. Fuck your chicken strips. Are you saying that this is not the mission you wanted to do? I mean, this is like a later on mission. <laughs> but I get what you wanted to do, and I wasn't gonna say no to you because you're my favorite. What do you mean it's a later on mission? Like, this is that hard. Sure. No, I got wait, 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 what if you just use Earth to remember the star part? Uh, that was a good idea. Yeah, and you don't fucking listen to me. <laughs> wait, I should try the thing. Oh, it didn't work. You should, uh, you should sweet creep this in your back. You know, that's a great idea. <laughs> Gotta get straight straight. Oh yeah, we'll get all that FP. God damn it! No, 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 no! <laughs> all 
Are you kidding me? I did good job. Yay! We're gonna get a level up in no time. Yeah, sure. Only 67 more enemies to go. Yay! Alright, we're there. Saving, because I don't want to do that shit again. Oh, sure is, that, is that only six? You could just. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, this was, like, the first chapter. I swear to fuck, there isn't, like, a, a, like, a fast way to travel back. <laughs> Over here? Oh! Uh-huh. Attack FXB. The badge Miss Mouse was looking for. Take it to him. That's her fast way to get back down. No. Fuck. <laughs> shit. Oh, well, you know what shit. that means? Dude. I think we're just gonna have- Bullshit. Uh, it's mainly us, like, going back down. But we could just use Yoshi and just, like, fall to her. Demise. Fast travel. Can we just like? Can you just jump off. No, I was I was about to say should we should we pause and then just be back in Roadport? Yeah, we could. Alrighty, we'll pause. We won't put you guys through this again. <laughs> hey, so we figured out how to get that. You just hit the little block and just fall down. <laughs> yeah. We're dumb. Now fall all the way down. Yay! Alright, I just realized that we could try out this thing. Art attack. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Because I'm really wanna just get rid of these guys. Throw around the enemy as many times as you can. Yeah, dude! Three? Jesus Christ, they're dead as shit. They turned to dry bones. Hey, good amount of damage. Yeah, I guess we use that for future attacks and whatnot. Pretty good. We're back in Rapport! <laughs> Thank God. Thank God, cause all I hate it when- It all started freshman year! <laughs> I love quoting random things that people don't understand. Well, I guess you would if you were in- like, if you watched Cone High, you would understand that. But all the fucking normies out there won't. Alright, Miss Mouse. Got your badge. What- I wonder what sound it makes. Cause the other one that we got was a cricket. <laughs> this one's- a grasshopper. Oh, so different. <laughs> <laughs> that face, does that mean you found the badge? Yep. Here you go. Well, this is certainly the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hit that badge. It was a little game of my drop kick, sir. <laughs> I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome tease hunk. You may have even more badge finding seals than I do. Yeah, I mean, like, do you see my arsenal of badges? I just thought of something. Perhaps I could just travel with you from now on. Because mm -hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about the reward, let's see. Take this badge that you've managed to find. But I accept you to lead me to more. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Fuck yeah, I'm already getting bitches. Miss Mouse joined your party. Let's see, look at that. We got a new party member. Yay! Miss Mouse ability, a primer. Who the fuck is it a primer? Press X and Miss Mouse can sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. Doesn't mean anything anything in the series here. 
When you press X, I'll step around and tell you that there, that there are any items nearby. Just a sniff for that. Oh, she has a little backflip! If there's something nearby, I'll let you know, like I did just now. Oh, that's good for, like, star pieces, because those are items that are hidden. In battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. I can also help you by... by... wait. I can also help you out by using my kiss. Thief move to steal enemies... enemies' items. <gasps> so you know those items that the enemies have behind them? We can fucking just take them! Yeah. You solved the problem. Wait, wait, I don't want to see! Let's go. I love you, Mr. So wait, if I do it right now... Oh shit! So in this area there's something, but let's look in here real quick. Jesus. Happy flower. Close call. Ice smash sounds cool. Oh fuck it, we got money. It only costs one BP, perfect. Sure. Yippee! Yahoo! Is there anything in here? Wait, there is? Wait, go behind the counter. Huh. Okay. They lied to me! Unless this kind of counts as the rogue port area. It probably does count as the rogue port area, unfortunately. Probably. Yeah. Bye, Mr. Mouse! Mm -hmm. I think we have time to do probably two more. That one took a lot. <laughs> yeah. You're not heading towards. Hold on, I really want to find the thing that's like hidden around here. <laughs> Where do you think it would be? I give up now. All right, let's go. Oh shit. Okay, oh fuck. I can do this. Shit. Come on, Yoshi, let's go. I'm glad we're uncreative about the names that we give things because we just named the Yoshi Yoshi. What, do you think he doesn't like this name? I mean, that's like naming a, a human a human. As a name. <laughs> Alright. Should we do this one? Sure. McGumbella. <laughs> this is McGumbella, and I have a simple task. I need to have something delivered. I'm pretty sure it's McGoomba. I think it's a oh. dude. Oh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, for reasons I can't mention, I can't be seen around Rogueport. Meet me behind Zesty's house in Rogueport. Oh, that's the guy that was the wanted Goomba! Yeah. Yeah, do and do it right! <laughs> Let's go, Yoshi! I like how there's a demon and the door's weakening, but we're gonna do other people's tasks right now. We crewmating up in this bitch. Among Us joke. Get it, crewmate? I'm so fucking smart. That was clear. Okay. You never know who be watching, so let's do this thing quick. Take this patch to Goofy. You'll find him in front of Frankie's place. Try not to be seen. You got a box. It has coke in it. <laughs> hey, 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 what's in this box? Opened it up. That's 15 kilos of crack. Oh shit, I remember, um, I don't know what, like, episode it was, but it was an episode of, um, wait, hold on. Bling! <laughs> yep. The package. Yeah, that's it. I dispose of this in a way no one will ever find it. Tell McGoomba I said so. And do me a favor, forget all this, you hear me? It never happened, for your sake. We never spoke. Forget everything. And when you give Goom for my message, he'll give you your commission. Remember, this deal won't be done until you- Okay. Alright, fine. Fuck you. It was an episode of Hell's Kitchen, where, like, you know, like, all the chefs, like, compete against one another in teams and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it was, like, after, like, the teams get fucking merged and whatnot. And, uh, the two of them, like, get summoned to the, uh, to the dorms, right? And they're like, I- when you guys don't realize that, I have these dorms checked when you guys are in that kitchen. So why the, why the fuck did I find this? And he pulls out, like, this wrapped up thing and says it's coke. 
And they're like, oh, I don't know what, th like, both of them are like, I don't know what that is. And he's like, you know what? I'll fucking tell you what this Disney ride is. Just a fucking shirt telling <laughs> that they made it. Made them think they were <laughs> drug dealers. <laughs> <clears throat> Did you deliver it? You. You saved my neck, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot about your compensation. You saved my neck. You get something good. Money coins, nice. Oh, that was mixed up for that smash hammer that I bought. Also, we did get BP. Oh, shit. We did get BP, right? Badges. You were just looking at badges. Okay, we didn't get any BP recently. I think it's our next thing. Yeah. Maybe off screen, we'll play around with the BP. Maybe just take off all the badges and see what we actually use. Because there's a lot of things that we have equipped that we've never fucking touched before. So maybe in between episodes, I'll fix it and then starve the next episode. I'll show you guys what my setup is. I feel like that'd be pretty good. Because, like, honestly, most of the fucking jumps that we have, we don't fucking use. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Let's do the Koopa one. Koopa. Try to find me. It's me, Kapook. Yep, the wandering hide and seek champion. I'm hiding so worried. Oh my fucking god, I fucking hate this quest. Alright, right, so let's uh, not accept this quest. <laughs> yeah, not right now. Right. Fuck you. No, that's not even a problem. It's just a do wanting to play hide and seek. What are me and I? Okay, we can do this. Our shop inventory is low, and I need someone to help me restock. Please come to the shop in Rogueport Square. I can do that. That's the dude that gave us the contact lenses. And crack. We can't forget about the crack. We, we haven't been doing the, the reoccurring crack joke. I love crack. Maybe that- maybe, like, the demon has crack when we, like, reawaken the demon and whatnot. I hope so. We'll get, like, caught demon and crack. This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. Wait. Yeah. Go ahead. I think- what the fuck is it? Super Luigi? I kinda wanna buy it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna need 64 coins for that Super Luigi. <laughs> Welcome, yes. Ah, you accepted my trouble, huh, fella? You're having a hard time finding courage shells. I need you to bring us five from anywhere you find them, okay? That's five courage shells, I'm counting on you. Alright. So we just gotta slaughter a shit ton of Koopas. You know where we have to go for find Koopas? A kill castle? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it said anywhere. Yeah, Can we just go to another shop and buy for a show? Probably. Huh. Well, we need inventory space, so let's go back in and, and dump some inventory. Because he can hold items for us. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, store, please. Yes. Just fucking spam that shit. Honestly, we should not be holding this fucking jelly thing. It, it's way too powerful for our liking right now. Oh, the shooting star and that, uh, boo sheet. And you know what? Fuck it. Earthquake hammer. Okay, we're good. And then, real quick, while we're over here, I really want to see- Because I think we get something cool if we give uh, Zesty the peach. She'll make us something cool. And I want to have cool things. Hi, lady. Alright. Yes. Peachy peach. I want to be like a fried shrimp that should she just do so? I think it's a juice that we get. Like, peach juice? Cause that's what I remember in Super Paper Mario, but I know like, it's fucking different. Bro, what are you doing that you're burning it? I'm gonna keep waiting. Not entirely sure what this is, but go on. Take it, Stompy. That's it! At least Super Paper Mario gave you cool shit. Huh. Alright, where, where can we find courage shells? Thanks, Google. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save. We just did a couple casts and whatnot. Alright, if I was a Courage Shell, I would- You can get them from, uh, Koop- like, Koopas and shit. Were there Koopas in the, um, in the sewer? I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, we had to head down again. We're probably gonna find them the most in Petalburg. They can Petalburg. be bought in Petalburg. Let's go! Back to Petalburg we go! Can you only buy one, though? You can buy a bunch, because they stay there. Bye, Yoshi. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you cook up a Mr. Softener and a point swap together, you can get a courage shell. Yeah, but we don't we can't cook two items at the same time yet. Come on, Yoshi, we're on a mission. I'm glad we got this guy. I don't know what we do without him. Probably have to walk everywhere like a degenerate. Oh shit! Let's go, Yoshi. <laughs> Yoshi time. All right, we're in pedal bar now. I like got we said no to that dude's request about the uh the <laughs> like going to Cooktail Castle, but we're in pedal bar. <laughs> yeah, love to see it. Give me. I need five of these, right? Yeah. One. Okay, that's two. two three. three. Four, five. I right. know we have six nine coins. Yeah, I love how you can cook up a Mr. Softener and a point swap together mm -hmm. in order to make a um, hmm. a courage shell. But a Mr. Softener is eight coins, and a courage shell is five coins. Yeah. Well, I guess if you have an excess of them and you want oh shit, and you want courage shells. Yoshi, get the fuck off of it! <laughs> Yay! I was like, there's gotta be something hidden in here. Dude, star pieces are so good. That guy blinked at me weird! Kick his ass! I forgot Yoshi can't jump. <laughs> Should we try and miss Mouse's thing real quick about being a thief? Yeah, we can. Cause that guy's got a fire thing. Okay. Club partners, please, from Miss Mouse. All right, so yours is Miss Thief. Steal an enemy's badger item. Oh, we can show. We can only do the one in the front. God damn it! Damn it! Ooh. Looks like you got. Oh shit! What? Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. So you gotta kill them until... Yeah, but that guy's probably gonna use the fire thing way before. Yeah, well, I'm an idiot. Wait, wait, wait. You mm -hmm. can multi-bounce and kill the first two. Yeah, and then just like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, alright, let's see her thing real quick, because I... Just... I did not fucking read it. Alright. Yeah, okay. Press A to stop the gauge after it passes okay. Nice. My bitch! I'm guessing that doesn't work if you, um... If you have too many items. Yeah. Oh shit, what the fuck is that man doing? You, you saw him? I'm gonna just roll bounce this guy, cause... Cause Miss Mouse could just slap the shit out of that guy, which at least we get to see that. Alright. Left slap. Repeatedly tilt this left and right as fast as you can. Do a little bounce. <laughs> nice. I think there was an action command I had to do for that, but it's okay. We live and learn here. We live, laugh, love. Live, laugh. <laughs> what was the thing that you sent me? Like you were like, I don't know. And you're like, you know what they say? Live, laugh, love. <laughs> yeah, I was like, you know what they say? Live, laugh, love or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was having a problem and you're like, I can't help you. Oh well. <laughs> Hey, there's Hooktail's castle. You think that guy's still there? 
Yeah, he's, he's hiding there and we're just never gonna find him. Yeah. Some say he's still hiding there to this day. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the dead Goombas now. Oh my god, Goombas, right? dude, that's horrible! Fuck. I think I could've just written on Yoshi and... Yeah. Yay! I love doing things! Gotcha. I don't wanna deal with that Goomba. Alright, so we need to go to... The shop, that's it. I already forgot what our mission was. <laughs> Wait, did I go the wrong pipe? Oh yeah, I did. I fucking I was on auto plane. God damn it. Autopilot. That's what I meant. I meant I meant autopilot, not auto plane. <laughs> I'm so smart. So smart. Never. You never meet a person this smart. Mm. You know what I've been getting on my for you page now that I've been playing Paper Mario. Of uh, th this recording video, it's like, uh, can you beat Thousand Your Door without using action commands? It sounds interesting. It sounds hard as shit, though. Here's your fucking things. What if I, like, opened it and it was, like, four? And not four? <laughs> oh, that's fine. You're done. Well, here's your reward. I hope you like it. Thank you very much, really. You really helped me. You solved the problem. Also, I want to look at- before we end this- get, hold on. That book that we got. Important thing. Have you ever experienced a time when, when no matter how hard you tried, you failed and the time you spent felt wasted? Have you ever- if you ever felt such pangs of regret, try remembering this tale. The story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Wait, no, shit, fuck. Super Luigi Volume 1, the quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know the letter he was about to receive would change his destiny. Sir Luigi, danger besets upon us on all sides, and we beg for your help. The foul chestnut to the king has stolen our treasure, the fair princess. The letter was from Minister Crip of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. Like the time he bought a mansion and had to fight ghosts, I guess. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time retailing the heroic meal he was, was making. He then packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his old... Sir, though less talented brother was out with a no doubt unconsequential errand. Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Makes a kill mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. I like that. <laughs> Where the fuck did we get a mango? <laughs> Such cryptic words were all Luigi left wrote before leaving. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by the pure m m misery and endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Creep, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land has a second treasure, the marvelous compass. Find the seven parts and find Princess Eclair. So it began to be continued. Wait, that's, that's it? Wait, that's the whole book? Yeah, it's book one. Oh my god, dude. Okay. All right, well, we helped a couple people, and we got a new board member. I think that's a win. I think so too. Yeah, so I guess the next one will actually, uh, like, what did the the guy said to head to the pier to talk to a couple people about getting a boat. So now we gotta actually do things in the game. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. I was crazy once. Well. I guess that's what we're gonna do in the next one. I'm very excited. I feel like you liked this chapter a lot because it had a lot to do with pirates. Arg. It's a One Piece reference. Yes. <laughs> the One Piece is real. All right. Well, I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.